Welcome to the lesson on finding the greatest common factor. This is a skill you will need in order to reduce fractions efficiently. In this lesson, we are going to review finding the prime factorization of a number and then using that skill to find the greatest common factor between two or three numbers. The greatest common factor is the biggest number that divides evenly into each number in a given group of numbers. Let's quickly review the concept of factoring any number to the product of its primes using a factor tree. Suppose you were asked to factor 12. 12 is equal to 3 times 4. Since 3 is prime, we circle it. 4 can be factored into 2 times 2. Again, both 2's are circled since they are prime. So 12 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3. If you need further review, please go back to the lesson on prime factorization. So let's get down to it, shall we? Suppose we are asked to find the greatest common factor between 12 and 8. We could guess at the factors that are in common, but it's better to have a strategy. Using a factor tree, we saw that 12 was equal to 2 times 2 times 3. 8 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2. Remember the title of this lesson, finding the greatest common factor. So if we find all the factors that are in common, we will achieve our goal. By looking at the two lists of factors, we can see that both lists have a 2 in common. Therefore, we're going to circle those numbers. Again, there's another set of 2's in common, which are circled. The greatest common factor is the product of the numbers in common. In this case, 2 times 2, or 4. Let's try a second example. What is the greatest common factor between 18 and 21? The best strategy is to first factor each number into the product of its primes. 18 is equal to 2 times 9. 2 is prime, so it is circled. 9 is equal to 3 times 3, both of which are prime. So 18 is equal to 2 times 3 times 3. 21 is equal to 3 times 7, both of which are prime. Now our job is to find those factors that are in common between those that multiply to be 18 and those that are factors of 21. Looking at the two lists, 3 is the only factor in common, so it is circled. The greatest common factor is 3. Even if the problem becomes bigger, the process is the same. Suppose you are asked to find the greatest common factor between 24, 32, and 40. Take a few seconds to consider the factors of each number. So what do we have? 24 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. 32 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 40 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. The greatest common factor are the factors that are in common in all three lists. 2 is in each of the three lists three separate times. Therefore, the greatest common factor is 2 times 2 times 2, or 8. So what did we learn? Finding the greatest common factor is based on knowing the prime factorization of each number and identifying the factors in common. This is an essential skill when reducing fractions and, as with all things in mathematics, practice makes perfect. Thank you for joining us on this lesson on finding the greatest common factor. We look forward to having you join us in another mini-lesson.